Welcome to Top Performance Products, the home of Coney products in Australia. Today we're fitting a set of Coney Sports to a Porsche 924. Now this is not a standard Porsche 924, it's had some heavy modifications, it's actually my car. The reason why I've chosen Coney is not just because I work for Coney, because I know that this particular product will suit my needs, and that is streetability and track day. So I can wind this up a few turns and increase the rebound pressures. It'll make a bit of a fun spin for on the racetrack where it's nice and smooth. Back it off and it'll endure those bumps on the way home. So. Okay, so here we've got the, uh, the strut out of the 924. We're about to um, remove the insert. So we've taken off the uh, spring. We'll go through that process in a little while. So Alex has prepped it all up for us. So we're ready to go. Let's have a look at this old shock absorber. Okay. Hang on, just look at that. <laughs> okay. Well, this is pretty interesting. The shops uh, have definitely been replaced because um, all these are Coney's. The Coney, Coney Classics, they were known as Special D back in the day. Um, and this 9624, so it's 1996, uh, week 24. So these dampers were replaced in his car in 1996 and the previous owner put Coney's in it. So that's kind of good. Now, the funny thing about these shock absorbers is had I known they were Coney's, <laughs> what I could have done is I could have compressed the shock absorber all the way down engaged the foot valve and wound up the preload dampening, which would have reinvigorated the shock absorber and um, brought it back to life again. So, which would have been good, except I did want the sports for track day ability. So, you know, they, they were gonna get replaced anyway, but I'm definitely going to keep these shock absorbers for later on, just in case I change my mind and decide that I want a bit more of a softer ride because these things will be valved slightly differently to the sports. The sports will naturally have slightly firmer valving on the lower setting than these will on the lower setting. So these are well worth holding on to and um, yeah, well, what a surprise, Coney's already. So let's reinstall these ones, Alex, and uh, away we go. Um, different to the front, the rears are uh, off-car adjustable with the sport. So to adjust these, they've got to be taken out, 
compressed, there's a little button on the top, and then you extend them, and that's how you adjust them. There's three points to adjust them. Uh, fitment's pretty straightforward. Like, like I said, we fitted them earlier because that was pretty easy. It's just two bolts, um, top and bottom. There's nothing you need to do when you take the shock absorber out of the box. Bolt it in, away you go, and the thing will sort of bleed itself once you're going down the road. So it's all pretty straightforward and pretty easy, really. Okay, so I've just come back after about a sort of 20k drive, feeling it out a little bit, and um, really happy with it. And I didn't think it'd make that much of a difference these shocks over the Coney's that are in it, the Special D's or the um, Coney Classics, but it, it actually really does feel a lot different. It actually rides a lot smoother. I thought it might be a bit firmer, but it's not. So for me, I actually think I want it even from the street, just a slight bit firmer, which is the beauty of the uh, Coney Sports, because all I need is this. And it's lucky because there's a little plus and a minus on there which really makes it easy for adjustment so I know that they're fitted on on full uh, standard which is zero um, rebound dampening so all I'm gonna do is put this little guy on like that so the plus is this way handy the plus is there so I just want to turn it to there that's quarter of a turn so this you could probably get about three turns out of it, so it'll give you quite a lot of rebound dampening. But for the street, you wouldn't want to do that because you'd feel every bump on there. But for a racetrack, when you're tipping into those corners, it'd be perfect. So I'll do that on both sides. I'll take it for a spin and see what happens.